Ms. Karen Robertson. Um, welcome to the uh, May 15th Special Council meeting. I'd like to first recognize that we are gathered on the traditional territory of the Samic First Nation. Uh, we have uh, Councillor Brown attending electronically today. Today's special meeting is being held in accordance with the Community Charter and Council Procedure Bylaw 2018, number 7272. If during the meeting any member of the gallery has a question regarding an agenda item, would you please write down your name and the agenda item on the question period sign-up sheet, by, uh, which is on the table by the double doors to my left. Uh, please note that questions are for agenda items only. Before we start the meeting, I would like to take a few moments to remind those who are attending in person about the rules of decorum for all council and committee meetings. A meeting of council is intended to be a place where democracy can freely take place in a respectful and safe manner. The council chambers is a workplace and there are considerations council and staff must make to ensure that a safe work environment exists in accordance with work safety C regulations. To support this disrespectful conduct will not be tolerated, so we ask that there be no cheering, jeering, or other outbursts from the gallery at any time. This will ensure that anyone speaking, whether it is be a delegation, member of council, or staff, is not interrupted and can make their point freely without distraction or fear of ridicule. In instances where a speaker is being inappropriate or has exceeded their time limit, their microphone will be cut off. Similarly, if there are outbursts by any person in the gallery, they will be asked to stop, and if they do not comply, uh, they may be asked to leave as permitted under section 133 of the community charter. If necessary, council may call a recess in order to reset the environment of the council chambers. It is our belief that if everyone is respectful of these basic considerations, this meeting and future meetings will be more effective in furthering the business of the city of Nanaimo. And the first item on the agenda is the introduction of late items. Ms. Robertson, we have none, uh, so a motion for adoption of the agenda. Move Councillor Thorpe, seconded Councillor Eastmer. All those in favour? Any opposed? None. Uh, the first uh, bylaws, accommodation tax request bylaw 2024 number 7383. Councillor Thorpe, or pardon me, Councillor Gesselbrock. The accommodation tax request bylaw 2024, number 7383, to renew the municipal and regional district MRDT for a five year period, effective 2025, January 1st, be adopted. Seconded, Councillor Hemmins. All those in favor? Any opposed? None. Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, the next is other business, uh, and that is the RCMP annual performance plan. Anyone providing any? Yes, Your Worship, we had just to add this on. Uh, we had the presentation from uh, our acting uh, inspector at your last council meeting. So we neglected to actually get a resolution of support from council. So in order for you to sign the form, um, we just need to get that resolution this morning. So appreciate it. So we're cleaning up our little boo-boo. Councillor Gesselbrock. I move that Council supports the Nanaimo RCMP 2024 Community Priority Issues as presented on 2024 May 6th and as listed below, one, Crime Reduction Prolific Offender Site Revoy, number two, Community and Public Safety, number three, Traffic and Impaired Driving, number four, Youth Officer Visibility and Engagement in Schools. Seconded, Councillor Thorpe. Any discussion? Not seeing any. All those in favor? Any opposed? None. Motion carries. Thank you. Pretty safe to say there's no question period items. Motion for adjournment. Move Councillor Hemmins. Seconded Councillor Manley. All those in favor? Any opposed? None. Motion carries. Thank 